Today I have the new Inspiroy Dial graphics tablet from Huion. Now this is their newest graphics tablet, promised new increased workflow and other additional features. And we're going to talk about that in a minute. I ain't getting out of bed today. Keep waking up from the previous night. Now I'm John and I do reviews and tutorials on hardware and software that help in the creative process. Now join me and remember who you were supposed to be by hitting that subscribe button, clicking that bell, and you'll be notified anytime I upload new content. The Inspiro dial comes in a beautiful black box with the text that's raised and laminated. The overall packaging is beautiful, making me want to tear into the box that much quicker. Speaking of which, the first thing we have is a thank you card from Huion. The graphics tablet is on top. We have the two on-the-go adapters, we'll talk about that. A wireless receiver, some instructions that I won't read, and a USB to USB-C cable. This is your main connection between the tablet and the PC. The familiar donut pen holder we've come to know from Huion, including 10 spare nibs and a nib remover. And finally, the PW500 pen, which we've reviewed before. It features a rubberized grip and no eraser. Two programmable buttons complete the pen package, and we'll talk about the performance in a minute. Now on the pen, it's impressive to me that they've included their flagship pen with this graphic tablet. That means to me that they're not fooling around. They want this thing, they have a commitment to this graphic tablet, they want it to be a success, and most importantly, they're ensuring that it performs optimally. On to pay the bills. The tablet type is electromagnetic resonance, that's EMR. The active area is 10.5 by 6.56 inches. The report rate is 266 PPS, it's an industry leading standard. OS support includes Windows 7 or later, Mac OS 10 or 12 or later, and Android 6, we will talk about that. The connection type is wired, USB-C to USB-A or wireless, including that dongle I showed before. The PW500 is a battery-free pen featuring 8,192 levels of pressure, and it supports tilt at 60 degrees. Illustrated here is a picture showing the large working area. However, if using an Android tablet, you are limited to just about one half of the drawing tablet. Now, what makes this graphics tablet really stand out against the others well it's this little hockey puck looking doohickey here what they call the dial now what's important about the dial is the dial supports the windows radio control protocol and what specifically that does is if you looked at the surface line of products where you have those extra features with the surface dial this dial actually supports some of those features now just to note those features are application specific so use a mile may vary now the way the surface dial works is when you place against the glass on the surface device all of a sudden you have all these new options. Now on the Huion graphics tablet that is initiated by clicking that middle button. It's the same button that if you were in a uh, desktop application like a non uh, surface uh, feature type application you're going to be cycling through your options you know like uh, brush size and zoom and stuff like that on the only Windows uh, app I had which was sketchbook that's really the default way that it works so I didn't bother to show it here that's what I mean by user mile my vary if that's really a key feature for you you want to research that app and make sure that that functionality is built into the app it's not really a Huion deal it's whether the application supports that feature or not Okay, we've done this before, but I mean, it wouldn't be a review without uh, going through the driver a little bit, but we'll make it quick because I've done it in other videos. So the first button here is press keys. This is obviously where you're going to set any custom options uh, to your eight express keys and also the dial. All right, so if you click on here, if you click the button, you're going to click in this field, you could set modifiers. So for example, if I go to this last key and you can see I've set uh, control Z, which is undo, apply OK, and that, that setting is going to stick. The one new option here is enables Windows radial. So what that is, is that is the uh, surface dial options, which are, you know, program specific. So this is basically the page for the applications that support those options. Um, I'll link to that below. Digital pen, if you want to customize those uh, programmable buttons on your pen, this is where you do it. If you want to customize the pressure curve or anything like that, which will be global across all of your applications, you're going to do it in here. This is where you have your pressure test. As always, you want enable Windows Ink checked if you're on Windows 10. And the work area is something I only go in usually when I have tool displays and, you know, the tablet, any tablet by any maker starts to get a little bit mixed up about, um, you know, which device I'm using. 
The rotate settings are for left-handed people. Just keep this in mind, if you flip the tablet, the, the dial itself is gonna be in the lower right-hand corner. I don't know if that's a problem for some people, but you know, I get asked all the time, you know, can the tablet be used in left-handed mode? And this one can. The about setting is all about uh, backing up your settings and then, you know, being able to recover by importing them. So if you're doing a lot of customization, you're gonna wanna do that. One of the new options here is device connected. This is your battery. This is basically your battery uh, charge status, which is nice They include that right in the driver. And then finally, and most important, um, I did a whole video on this, which is profile specific settings for your uh, custom express keys. So if you go in here, you can see I added Clip Studio Paint. It's very easy. I can click on this and then edit. And now I can go in here and create custom settings just for Clip Studio as opposed to global settings. But again, link that video above if you want more detail about that. Okay, there's a lot to cover with this tablet here. So I'm just going to go quickly over my setup here. I have a Android uh, Nexus tablet that we're going to test out. I am displaying on the latest Huion Canvas Pro 22. Uh, this is the 2019 edition. I reviewed it. I'll link that up above, but we're not doing any drawing on that today. And uh, we're going to start right away in Sketchbook Pro. So immediately, uh, there's definitely a textured tactile feel to this tablet. The pressure feels good, but we're gonna test some gradient. So we get decent light, good mids, and nice darks. Let's test it again. At this point, I'm barely touching the tablet. So those are lights. A little darker now. Medium. And then nice darks, right? Pressing down hard. So that's good. So we're gonna test the pressure curve without any pressure sensitivity adjustments. We can see here just about everywhere where I changed, right? Especially down this one above where I really took my time. I don't see any shoelace effect. This is really nice tapering off, especially me drawing a little bit at an angle. So as usual, I mean, I'm pretty impressed with, you know, heat on quality and the, the pressure sensitivity. We've, we've kind of gone over this before, but for the uninitiated, I mean, this is the kind of line quality you could expect. These are light. and I get a very nice taper off. So as you can see right now, we're wired and they include this little doohickey here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bounce off the wired. And now with the cameras probably not picking up because of the, the brightness of the ring light I have going on here, is these LEDs are lit. And what that's for is to show your, basically your battery life. So this is rechargeable, right? As long as you have it plugged in, it's gonna recharge. And then you put that little dongle in and then all of a sudden it's wireless. So that's the first time I've actually done it on this PC that I'm testing on. And we're gonna see it's a seamless transition. So you can go between charging and everything like that. There's no additional lag introduced or anything. Um, I've reviewed uh, one of the Hue Young graphics tablets before. So um, I kind of know what to expect, but you can see from the screen recording and also the camera, we have no kind of lag, we have no kind of pen issues, no kind of tracking. I mean, we're kind of good to go. By tracking all four corners. No problem. 
Okay, one new exciting uh, thing is that Huion has supported Android tablets before via USB-A and then these on-the-go adapters. However, in this iteration, this same wireless dongle, if you plug it into the actual Android tablet, will work the same way as it does with Windows. In other words, it's a complete wireless connectivity. So as long as this guy is charged, you're gonna take the appropriate on-the-go adapter. In my case, I need micro USB. You'll plug in the wireless dongle, and all of a sudden, your pen's drawn on the screen. Now, if you don't recognize this app, that's not a surprise. This is the uh, new Huion Sketch. It's a free application in the Google Play Store, which matches up, you know, along with the launch of these new devices. What's really nice and very specific and makes this application stand out is that it knows what this Huion tablet is. So it has configurations for the buttons and things like that shortcuts and everything within the application itself it's it's a full-on drawing program and in fact reminds me a bit of um of procreate with a little sketchbook mixed into it but i mean that's fine anybody familiar with those applications already you'll feel right at home if we scroll in a little bit or zoom in rather you see here it's very similar to procreate your opacity and your uh, brush size as undo is down here you have a full array of different kinds of brush options and things like that and even have your things like your um, your lasso tool and different selection things your hand tool and everything like that and you can configure them to those buttons I mean for free <laughs> really good right and it does the trick I wouldn't say it's the most snappy application uh, you know, version 1.0 out of the out of the box, but I think I may wind up doing a um, a separate video on this all together, especially as it matures. And you can see you have full layers. You know, if you're familiar with Procreate or Sketchbook, I mean, this should be very familiar to you. Your eraser settings, brush. I mean, you know, everything's here. Full color wheel. I mean, like, you know, to get this for free and have it work with this. Um, this graphics tablet like this is really fantastic. Just want to touch on that for a bit. If you have questions on that, let me know. And uh, maybe we'll do a full-on video of it. Now, the Android functionality is not limited to the Huion Sketch app. This is Sketchbook on Android. The one nice thing about Sketchbook is it rotates, so I was able to turn it upside down and, you know, have the wireless dongle facing the other way, which is nice if you're on the go. And just wanted to show... Uh, this guy works pretty well, as good if not better than the Huion Sketch app, which is brand new. And we can see there's really no lag. I'm on wireless. It's pretty detailed, and you know the use case here, right, is for you know folks on the go and. You know, if they have these Android tablets or these, you know, larger things now, anything Android 6.0, you know, you can really stick this thing in your bag and in a pinch, you know, you're creating art if you got to get something going. Again, not bad, works great, right out of the box. No drivers, no software, nothing needed, except whatever's on your phone you use to draw. And that's the deal, right? That use case. One of these things about uh, you know graphics tablets such as this is that the the performance has increased so drastically over uh, the last few years. Is that even you know graphics tablets in the I guess you know budget range of this are now option for professionals that need something on the go. So this particular tablet, as I just mentioned before, to me that's one of the key features and. One thing I found, um, something I don't talk about much on the channel, is I have kind of back and neck issues and such. And when I reviewed this tablet, it was really nice with the wireless feature because I found myself being able to kind of kick back, you know, like in a chair, relax a little bit, go on a couch and, you know, still continue drawing or painting and, and things like that, where if I was right up against a display, I don't necessarily have that kind of freedom of movement, if that makes sense. 
So depending on your setup uh, and your workflow, you may find this to be a real advantage to you, especially if you travel. And if you're a professional who relies, uh, you know, on, you know, maybe uh, higher quality displays, like, you know, what we showed here, the Huion Canvas Pro 22 or something like that, um, these, the drivers are compatible. So you can just by removing the USB cable on the Canvas Pro and then, you know, plugging in the USB cable for the uh, graphics tablet, you can move in and out between that, those family of devices. It's, it's literally the same driver version. And the driver will pick up once you remove and change the cables, which actual display you're working on or graphics tablet. Now my closing thoughts on this are simple. Uh, as opposed to in the past, maybe being surprised, you know, with uh, lower budget type devices, with Huion and all the devices now that I've reviewed from them, I'm starting to expect this kind of quality, which puts it in a different range when I'm reviewing it and making me maybe a little bit more picky uh, than I might have been a couple of years ago when I'm expecting something different. I was happily not disappointed in the performance of this product. We show the, the, the line stuff and I've tried to cut these reviews down in time length to make it more valuable for the people watching by not showing as much of these, you know, tests and stuff that I usually do. But uh, at the end of the day, this uh, tablet does not disappoint, especially at the price range. And I think anyone you know who may be getting interested or introduced to digital art, this is a great option. And like I said, if you're a professional, you need something, uh, you know, a little bit lower price to stick in your bag or something like that on the go, you won't be disappointed either. Hopefully you're not disappointed with this video and you like it and you make some comments below and tell me what you think and you smash that like button. Wait, do people, is that a thing anymore? Do people still say that? Eh, regardless, I will uh, read those comments or respond, you know, as soon as I can. And as always, I will check you guys out in the next one. Thanks for watching.